Classes expected to resume tomorrow in the West Contra Costa County District. The district closed all schools uh, Friday and today. They're cleaning and sanitizing facilities. Employees and students are being asked to take COVID tests today before returning to in-person learning. And again, of course, the problem, a spike in COVID cases. In Contra Costa County, first responders and people working in high-risk settings now have to prove they have had a booster shot or be tested weekly. The new booster mandate took effect today. Crown Force Charles Clifford joins us live from Contra Costa County with the details. Charles? Yeah, well, here in Contra Costa County, COVID cases have been surging. Health Services says that's mainly due to the Omicron variant. Among the new cases, most of those people are unvaccinated, but quite a few breakthrough case cases among vaccinated people are happening as well. But people are vaccinated and have a booster. That is a much smaller percentage of the new positive cases. And for that reason, Health Services is adding a booster mandate to its existing vaccine mandate. As of Monday, January 10th, all law enforcement, firefighters, and emergency medical responders and people who work in hospitals, jails, and nursing homes across Contra Costa County must prove they are fully vaccinated and have received a booster shot against COVID-19. The new rules also apply to non-emergency ambulance workers. County Health Services says the new requirement is necessary to slow the spread of the Omicron variant of coronavirus and to keep hospitals and emergency services from being overwhelmed by sick patients and staffing shortages. Now, any workers who are not vaccinated or who have not received a booster shot must show a negative COVID-19 test on a weekly basis. All right, back live now. That is the very latest here in Contra Costa County. Charles Clifford, Cron4 News.